everybody, this is Faith from faithspizacademy.com In this video, we are going to show you these set of lovely, lovely autumn graphics created by Jess. Now these are color changeable, okay? If you're not sure what I mean, when you click on each of these graphics, you can actually change the colors. It's super, super cool, okay? She has basically hand-drawn all of these and, well, make them digital and I don't know her secret to do that. I don't know how to do it, but I'm so thankful that she has contributed this to our treasure box. So, well, you now have your hands on them. So what can we do with these graphics? Well, as with all graphics, you could use them to create anything you want, right? Digital papers, other types of printables, bookmarks, gift tags, planners, anything, okay? It's really up to you. Now with this, this can also, well, since everything is color changeable wait before i get too excited let's go to file and make a copy first okay once again i want to have a master copy in my canva dashboard that is untouched now this one i could change everything into black and white version so it becomes a well guess what a colorable one right and there we go now this become this could very well be a coloring page right a pumpkin coloring page a fall set of a fall themed coloring pack that is also possible okay now but 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 let me just give you some ideas go to file create a new design i'm going to use the document size us letter size document and no that is not what i want but let's just let it be okay we are going to come here copy this and paste it here there we go now I could fill up the colors. Ooh, no, not this. I wanna change it to brown. Any shade that I want because, well, this is color changeable, which is very fun for me. All right, so now what I want to give you some ideas is, well, we could use these to create some kind of kids activities like Ctrl D to paste it and just changing it to all black. Okay, there we go. There is a pumpkin. And coming back here, picking another. How about the mushroom? Double click on this, clicking this to Control C, copy, and pasting it right here on this page. I want to create a match the shadows activity. Okay, Control D to copy, sorry, to duplicate, and change it all to black and maybe just two more graphics let's choose this ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste it right here and ctrl d to duplicate changing all the colors to black once again to create that shadowy effect okay and do we have it in all black? It looks a bit grayish. Let's try. All right, this is the this is it. Click to drag multiple elements, shrinking it down to make space for one more set. Let's choose the flower. This one, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste it, and then Ctrl D to duplicate. Just changing everything to black to create the shadow version. All right, so this is it. This is super simple. This is just to give you some ideas that I'm going to use this as to create a kids activity, right? A fall themed kids activity, match the shadows, okay? Um, what we're missing is probably circle. Going to elements, searching for a circle, making it black, shrinking it down and just positioning it like this click to drag to move it closer to the left click to drag moving closer to the right here shrinking it down a little bit more ctrl d to duplicate like this aha now holding down my shift key i'm going to select both the black dots and click on duplicate shifting it down and when i shift down you can see that the pink lines will help me align them, right? And Ctrl D one more time to move it like this. 
okie dokes and these will be how they would well draw the lines okay it's like a preschool activity or activity for a preschooler here clicking t on my text uh, on my keyboard and just to give some instructions match the correct match the image to the correct shadow that's it fast and simple just a simple, simple activity which we created using these lovely autumn graphics. Now, what other ideas can we do or what can we use? Okay, now I am still on the track of, well, creating images or rather kids activities with this set of graphics. Once again, you can use this for anything, okay? But please, please make sure that you're reading the usage rights, okay? For every set of commercial use templates that you use, please make sure you are reading the commercial use, the usage terms, all right? Here, I'm still copying the pumpkin here, pasting it on this page right here. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna create a puzzle. Okay, a puzzle. T on my keyboard, typing in the word pumpkin. Okay, I'm gonna create a fall themed activity pack, which now this one is going to be a puzzle activity, okay? There we go. What are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna draw some lines. Okay, let's draw some lines. Line. In fact, hmm. Okay, never mind. I think, okay, let's just stretch it out. Okay, and here, this is the line, right? I don't need any ends to it, so there's no ends. If you want the lines to have some kind of ends, you can't. You can, and here, the line weight, I'm gonna put it to two. I want it much thinner. And we could have it as a gray instead of a stark black. So here, we're going to just duplicate this this line and moving it down and keep duplicating it until it fills up the page okay and delete this one i want this to be at the border now if you notice that there is actually a border of to, that forms the margin on this page if you're not seeing it on your camera dashboard go to file and go to settings and show margins and that is how it would appear okay so if i click this away that border thing disappears, okay? And if I were to go to file, go to settings and show margins, it appears again. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to have these lines to as guidelines for the parents or the teachers to cut this page into strips so that the kids can then use this as a jigsaw puzzle. All right, so one, the first line right at the top margin, the, the last one is at the bottom margin. And what we're gonna do is click to drag click to select all the margins, all the lines, sorry, and then go to position and position vertically. So now they're evenly spaced. That's it. Okay, that's it. So of course, if you want, you can also include a page of instructions that says, well, print out the page, laminate it if you want, and then cut along the lines. And then, well, this becomes a puzzle puzzle piece for your child or your toddler or your preschooler or your student. Okay, so this is one activity. And I could just easily duplicate this. And in this, I'm gonna Ctrl C to copy this and basically re delete the pumpkin. Ctrl V, replace it with the flower like this. Making sure it kind of cuts through every single line so every space is filled with something. It's not just an empty strip. This one, let's just fill it up like this, positioning it to the back because I want the lines to be in front. And here, change the words to flower. And that's it. If I want, I can even stretch it out a little bit more, make the words, the word even bigger. There we go. And that's the second page of, well, a puzzle activity. And then you can have fun and create more. Okay, so these are two ideas. Basically, I'm using uh, Jess's graphics, color changeable graphics to create fun and educational kids printables, all right? I hope this gives you some ideas and I'll see you in the next lesson.